Welcome to Module 5, Sustainability in the Circular Furniture Industry. I'm Juan Ortega, Project Manager of Amuebla, Funita cluster of Murcia region in Spain. This module introduces some of the main tools and applications that are currently used to promote sustainability in the Funita industry, becoming essential tools for the transformation towards a circular industry model. The module is divided into five units that cover the different applications that are implemented in the Funita industry with the aim of achieving a more sustainable industry. The five units are 1. Introduction to Ecodesign 2. Environmental Management 3. Communicating Sustainability through Ecolabels 4. Tools for a Circular Company 5. Case Studies In this first unit, you will understand what Ecodesign is, its different stages and what it provides to a company. There is a growing demand in society for more sustainable and eco-friendly products. Ecodesign is a systematic incorporation of environmental aspects into product design, with the aim to reduce its impact through its entire life cycle. Therefore, its application implies in most cases an increase in competitiveness and boost companies to let them stand out from its competitors. At the end of this unit, you will be able to identify environmental aspects of the company and know general principles of the most important quality and environmental certification. The main standards and regulations that apply in this sector are the well-known standards ISO 9001 of Quality Management System, ISO 14001 on the Environmental Management System, the IMAS, Eco Management and Audit Sherm, and ISO 14006, the Eco Design Certification. This certification accredits companies with a seal of quality that verifies the adequate management and implication for the environment and the quality of all their processes. In this third unit, you will learn green communication tools based on the different eco-labels for Funitu products. Environmental labeling or eco-label is a set of voluntary tools that try to stimulate the demand for products and services with lower environmental loads. Eco-labels offer relevant information about the life cycle of a product or services to satisfy the demand for environmental information by buyers. According to ISO 14020, there are three types of eco-labels. In Unit 5.3, you will learn their main characteristics and the most applied to the furniture and wood industry. In this unit, you will learn what the main sustainable tools for furniture products are, their benefits and how to implement and evaluate them product life cycle, the environmental product declaration and the carbon footprint. Thanks to these tools, the environmental impact of a company or a product may be evaluated, facilitating the implementation of action in a specific production processes to reduce its impact. Moreover, in this unit we will have a first approach to circular indicators. These indicators will provide companies with a methodology and tools to assess how well a product or company performs in the context of a circular economy. In this last unit, you will have the opportunity to know real implementation cases of the fifth different tools and applications studied in previous units. Thus, this unit tackles how different unit companies have implemented principles of eco-designs, got an eco-label for a product or how a company managed to get a specific quality and environmental certification. Now you can continue with the first unit of Module 5. I hope you will enjoy and improve your knowledge on how to get a more sustainable and circular furniture company. Let's get started.